What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Atlas. A little bit of modded Atlas today, TBF Gaming. We're going to jump into a couple things. First off, we've been making a bunch of progress around the base place. It's a little bit difficult because I do want to record kind of like the progression that we're making. But because we're playing with a group of people, we've got the patrons on one side of the other island. And then on this island, we've got the adventurers and a couple other people living over in that direction. So it is a little bit hard to do just the regular progression. So there might be a couple jumps in progression. But I will try to slow down and do a bunch of the stuff. Plus, I want to check out some of the modded stuff that we really haven't messed with too much in the past. Uh, that we're definitely going to check out just a little bit. We only have five mods on here, so it's not too intense. It is a couple Ecos mods, which are now ran by someone else. Someone else picked up the Eco mods because she wasn't able to continue on the Atlas side of things. But there's that. And then we have... Oh, what is... There's there's another one that handles some kind of automation and village. Uh, I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, but some really good mods. They're definitely listed down in the description below if you want to check them out. Just five simple ones. The other one is a multivitamin one. I think we just got arrowed. Did I just get arrowed? I'm pretty sure Taru just shot me with an arrow. Hold on. Let's see. She's up here somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. I think we got shot by Taru. But we're going to go ahead and make a couple things. I want to make a shipyard and make the smaller size boat. I don't think we've done that together. Not really like a huge deal to do that. I don't know if we should even bother with it but i figure it's part of the progression stuff that we might want to go through kind of just looking at the other stuff that we need to unlock and do that we haven't really gotten into yet there's just so much to get into we do have a sword finally which i don't think we showed you in the last couple episodes but we got the sword from taru it's pretty cool because you can do the little sword fighting with it you got left click you got the right click does all that and then you can do the blocking you can block that way block that way I think there's a couple other things. There you go. We can jab like that. It's just really cool. I like the little bit of a fighting system in Atlas. Atlas has a lot of problems as a game, but overall, it's a really fun game. I really do enjoy it. We finally have a crossbow that we just got, and this one's pretty cool because you can see the arrows are on the side of it. So let me see. When you reload it, he just, like, cocks the thing right there. So it's got, like, a... Uh, oh, okay. It's like a clip. That's kind of cool. It almost reminds me of like the little Nerf guns that me and my sons play with sometimes. So there you go. That's that's kind of what that has. Really cool. Uh, we don't have too many creatures ourselves, so we do need to tame some more stuff at some point. I've got a little couple cows. We've got Annie and we have Clarabelle. There's Annie and Clarabelle from the, the Thomas. If you guys have ever watched Thomas the Train, you guys know where that's from. Annie and Clarabelle, and then we don't have our own bull or anything, but these are all the cows inside of here, and we can milk these guys. I've got a bucket on our inventory. We just walk up to them, hit the E button, and then the milk, if I remember correctly, you use that. Let me see. Consume. It should fill up our vitamin D. I always forget which vitamin is which, but that one fills up your vitamin D. And then once we get enough stuff... Oh, let's close that. Once we get enough stuff, we'll be able to make some of the multivitamins, which will help out quite a bit. I feel like... Oh, you know what that noise is? I think that's just Taru up there building the brigantine. She's got a whole bunch of building going on over there. We'll definitely check that out here in a little bit. But let's go ahead and get some stuff. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below. Oh, also, we got a new monkey. Check this guy out. We just tamed him. He was right next to the base. I figured we'd tame him up real quick. Kind of a cute little guy. Look at that. Oh, let's show you the rest of the base stuff, too, that they've gotten built up over here. We've got inside of here. This is our chicken coop. What's up, chickens? And then over here, we've got our parrot coop. What's up, parrots? And like I said, the cows right there, elephants and those guys are just hanging out behind there. And then I think this is the other barn that's just some of the different rideable guys. I think the bulls are inside of here. And let me see what else. We've got the bulls, the bear, the ostrich. Oh, man, I know we had an ostrich. That's awesome. Some tigers. <laughs> this one's named Jerkface because it ate Taru a bunch of times. So kind of cool. We definitely want to go ahead and tame some of those guys up. So let's, you know what? Let's do that. Let's go tame something up real quick. I know we had Pumbaa somewhere. Is Pumbaa still alive? I don't know where all of the I don't know where all the Pumas went. They might have all died. Oh man, I'm kind of worried now. They might have all died. I'm not really sure. So Pumba might be gone, so that's a thing, but we'll, we'll check around just to make sure. Let's go ahead and go make ourselves some stuff. This is Teru's base. And let's see who's that. That's O Dog. He's a he's hanging out on Teru's floor. Nothing weird. There's O Dog's death recovery. Here we go. Smithy. Let's go ahead and make a few of the, what is it called, the bola. We'll take that with us. That's not made on this one. Hold on. Let's, oh, you know what? It's, it's on the other one inside here. Let's go inside here, and we'll make up a bola real quick. I think that's made on this one, right? There we go. Bola. I need fibers. I think I have some fibers. There we go. 
There we go. We're going to make a whole bunch of these because I tend to miss a lot with them. And then we'll go out and we'll try to do a couple things with this and see if we can get ourselves something kind of cool rideable. And then we'll make a little bit of a ship and just get some things going here. We want to make sure that we're continuing to make progression through the Atlas stuff. And then in the next episode, me and True already talked about it here in the next hour or so. We're going to go ahead and take a trip to the north and see if we can tame some wolves. So that'll be the next episode. I think that'll be a lot of fun. All right, now I need to figure out where to get traps. There's a way to make traps. She was showing us this earlier, and I don't know if this is from the mod or from the base game. That's the only thing bad when you play these sometimes. You don't always know. We're looking for a cage. Craftable wooden cage. Secrets of piracy. So this is under piracy. Secrets of piracy. Oh, we need to unlock piracy first. How do we unlock piracy? Let's see. Piracy. Unlocks piracy. Okay, looks like we did unlock it. And then, okay, basic of piracy. That one unlocks blackjack, handcuffs, hanging noose, grappling hook. Ooh, grappling hook's huge. And then the flare gun. So let's definitely make a grappling hook. Secrets of piracy will unlock the wooden cage, the diving attachment, the guillotine, and the gibbet? The gibbet? I don't know what that is. That's really cool. I have no more points. Oh, no. How close are we to getting more points? Uh, I'm level 38. We got to go get some XP. All right, let's go tame something. And then maybe we can use a creature to help us do some things. Oh, here we go. Do you want to be our friend? Hold on. Do we still have our monkey with us? Are you a male or female? That is a male, and you are also a male, I think. Okay. Never mind. Let's just take our guy with us. Now, there's something where the monkey, I think, can throw poop. And slow down some creatures that try to run away. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Let's see if we can get lucky up here. If there's anything cool kind of close to us here. Usually there's elephants and some other stuff in the area. So maybe we'll get lucky. Anything? A little bit of hunting through the trees. As long as there's not snakes, we're pretty good to go. Nothing, nothing. Alright, let's go. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. I don't even know if we could do this. Look at this thing. Okay. Oh, he's faster than I thought. Level 12. Okay. He's not too bad. There we go. I'm going to try to feed him. I don't even have the meat for it yet, but we'll figure all that out. Okay. Oh, don't get stuck on a rock. Bad timing. Oh, it's a pig. Okay. Come on. Reload faster, please. We might kill you for the meat. There we go. I think these guys are tameable. Now I'm not sure. Okay. No, no, no. Reload. Okay. Oh, run, 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 run. Okay. Bola. Oh, too heavy to entrap, it says. Oh, that didn't work at all. Nope. So he's too heavy. How do we tame him? Hmm. Can we t not tame an alligator? How can I entrap an elephant and not an, an alligator? That's crazy. So how do you tame it? Okay. No, you killed it. Oh, okay. That's fine. We'll have to look up and see if we can even tame these guys. That's kind of crazy. Look at that. There you go. Alligator attack. All right, let's chop this guy up. He should give some good meats, right? There you go. Prime animal meat. Which one gives more? That one. There we go. We'll have all the prime animal meat. And then we can definitely get ourselves something amazing. All right. Uh, let's go Let's go see if we can get a bear. You know what? In fact, let me ask Taru if she wants to help us go get a bear. I would love to have my own bear. Oh, my God. The horse is fast. Yeah. That's why we're not taking the horse. Because nothing, can, no, nothing not. can keep up with it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we want to go... Uh, you got a couple levels. What do you want me to do with it? Um, melee or health, whichever you're feeling. All right, couple in the health, couple in the melee. Yep. Oh, these guys are fast too. Yeah, tigers are hecka fast. Well, these are bred, ah. so they have a speed boost from being mm -hmm. imprinted. Now you don't nice. get the imprint bonus because we don't have it turned on where anybody can get the oh, imprint bonus. Oh, I forgot bonus. to turn that. I knew there was something else for mating I didn't do. That's okay. At some point you'll do it. Can we get up the hill? Can we get up the hill? No, I just I completely forgot about when I went on to make those changes the other day. I forgot about that one. Oh no. You okay? Jump, jump yep. to get up the hill. Yep. Yeah. Of course. No, I was just making sure I didn't hurt 
Shiba uh oh, too much. Shiba, their fall damage is minimal. Okay. Come on, make the jump. Got it. Now I lost yep. you. Though. I'm coming back. I'm I'm up the hill pretty way, pretty long ways. Okay. Like top of it, I think. Okay. Yep, I'm at the top. Are you? I don't see you. Oh, maybe a little further? There's like a hill and then a plateau and then a hill. I see you. Yep, I see. Tree, tree, get off me. So because we're looking for a bear, we're not going to find one, just so you know. Okay, if we find anything, we're taming, honestly. This area over here tends to be bears, tigers, giraffes, and ostriches. Oh, are you going for blood? Okay, be careful. Okay, yeah, don't get don't get rained on. You said uh, ostrich? Bears, tigers, giraffes. Are the ostriches any good? They're pretty fun. They're fast. Giraffes are a real pain in the patookas to tame because their heads tend to get stuck in the ground when they pass out. Mm. So then you can't feed them. So you have to start over again. What do you want to take to the north of this? So I figured we'll oh, do this. Oh, there's a rhino. Rhino would be good. Do we need another, we need a rhino? I mean, I think Pyro is breeding rhinos, but ah. Let's do it. You got a male or a female back at the base? I have a female back at the base. This is a male. Yeah. We have, they're a little, not real high level, but... No, well, none of the rhinos that I've seen have been high level, except for that one that they tamed over there. But one of the really big things to consider is any creature that tames out above 120 or is bred uh -huh. out above 120 will gain no levels. Ah, uh, okay. It's a known glitch. Gotcha. Okay, so are we, are we doing the billboard method with this guy, mm -hmm. or...? Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Right, now make sure your tiger is on passive because they will kill it. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> this is awesome. And now we okay. hope that that first one keeps him in. You know what? Do you have another one to put in front of him here? Yeah, are you worried about it? A little bit. Like, try to, like, put it, like, over his face-ish. Not his face, but, like, behind his... Yeah. We'll see if that works. Think that's close enough? We'll find out. Let's do it. All right, see if he kills you first. <laughs> oh, my bow wasn't reloaded. Oh, Ow. careful. Don't get close. Stay far, far away. Their reach is ridiculous. Gotcha. Uh, I'm going to go back to the base and uh, get beats. You keep shooting him. Okay. Oh, he's hardy. Yep. And then just kind of hold off on bullying him until I get back. Mm -hmm. I mean, he'll be stuck there. Just uh, keep an eyeball on his health. And I'm pretty sure it's beats that they like. Yeah, his health, he's bullable right now. Okay. So just... Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting. Yeah. Oh, man, we made quite a trek. Yeah, it didn't seem like it, but we definitely got far away real quick. There you are. I see you to the right. Aha! <laughs> okay. Alright, let me shoot him one more time. Mm -hmm. uh, he probably needs one more. Yep, you're okay. good. Okay. Okay, and where do you feed this guy? Carefully. At? Dang it. Okay, that spot didn't work. These guys are a pain in the butt. Are they? Oh, yeah. All right, I'm not moving. I want to mess it up. It's not letting me. It's giving me it, but it's not letting me feed him. I don't know if it's because... Oh, here you go. Right underneath the... Ooh. Oh! 
right underneath the uh, his front leg up here. You were able to get to his feet. Yeah. Okay. Like under under his arm, his front armpit. Because <laughs> rhinos have armpits, in case you didn't know. There it is. Yep. Yeah. All right. So How much did it do? Twenty-two. So we will probably be able to get it in on the next, next one. one. To, yeah, if I go yeah. armpit. Because I think I'll get yeah. close to forty-five on this one. Mm-hmm. Nice. Right. Oh, there's a rabbit. What's up, rabbit? I have carrots. They tame really well with carrots. All right. Oh, he's back up. Mm -hmm. bad. Okay, I'm bolo. Okay. Okay, he's down. All right, so arm. Oh, his face is in the ground. That's not good. It's okay. His his armpit will be out. I think. Uh, maybe. His armpit is right where that wooden post is. <laughs> uh oh. It's okay. It's gonna happen. Maybe not. Oh yeah. Nice. I'm like in the post. <laughs> nice. Some pro taming methods. Oh yeah. Crouched in his armpit. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Alright, 13 seconds. Yep, you got 44 left on him. You're good to go. Nice. Less of a pain than the giraffes, I'll tell you that. And the elephants. Yeah, the giraffes, no. <laughs> nice. Level 29. Nothing crazy. Nope. Uh, and you can't pick them up. You gotta demolish the post. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dun dun dun! Come here, big rhino dude. All right, where's my dinosaur storage? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's a tier three, isn't he? I brought a tier two saddle. Yeah, he's a tier three. All right, do you want to take him back to base think, and then try I to think, find... Are we on the wrong... I'm on Raja. Which one do you want? It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, which way is back? This way. Yeah, I at least want to try him out one time. And what, what do rhinos gather? Uh, metal. Really? Metal and stone really effectively. Ah, cool. Come on. You see me up to your left? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just making sure you can see me. Yep, just wait on my rhino who gets stuck on everything apparently. Yep, and he's derping. <laughs> he's got. He's super good at pathing. Yeah, he's mad skills, yo. And do we have metal nodes near our mm -hmm. base? Cool. That's the level 4 one. This is a really cool colored ostrich. It's got like a blue stripe on its back. Mm -hmm. It's orange and blue. It's Denver Broncos colors. <laughs> I mean, if you want to stop and get it, we could always can. No, nah, I don't have any more billboards. Okay, yeah, let's go. Uh, to the left a little. That's why I lost you. Hold on. Oh, I see. I see. All right, come on, Rhino buddy. Jump. Oh, that's cool. Your dino will spin in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me get a uh, tier three saddle made up for you. Okay. Yeah, it's busting through all the trees. I 
think Pyro took my rhino to go breed. Nope. Uh, it was nope. there just a second ago. Hildy is still here. Nice. <laughs> Hildy the rhino. Hildy the rhino. Bloop and bloop. Nice. And you can uh, color the saddles, right? Yep. That's what I did with mine. All right. So follow, follow for the for the metal nodes. Oh yeah. Turn around. You're going to get more than you're going to be able to carry in about two hits. Nice. Crazy rates for the win. Oh, and he does have a charge meter just like mm -hmm. on the arc ones. Mm -hmm. So right here is a metal node. I'm standing on it. And what does it look like? How can Just you a tell? small dark oh. rock that pokes up from the ground. Oh, hold on. The guy gets tired quick. Mm -hmm. So sandstone, flint. Okay. So up here are three metal nodes all right gathered together. Yep, come on. As soon as he's done subrating. Mm -hmm. So these small dark rocks. Ah, okay. They're tin. Tin is metal. Got mm -hmm. it. Watch your weight. I am. I am. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> All right. So pump nothing but wait for a while. Yep. Okay. Cool. Head back. You want to try to make a baby real quick? No, we can't make a baby in this biome. It's not warm <gasps> enough. No. Oh, that's right. That's, that's the desert thing she was talking about. Pyro built the desert breeding center. Gotcha. Turn. Get out of the water. Ostriches and rhinos can't make babies in the equator climate. They have to be in the desert climate. Okay. I mean, or you can make like 97 fires and try to get the temperature to be correct around them, but... No, that sounds awful. Yeah. Is there technology stuff later on where we can have air conditioners? Uh, <laughs> penguins are air conditioners. Oh, okay. I like it when I tell a joke and it's true. <laughs> but the problem is they only provide, like, cool. You know what I mean? So it's not like mm -hmm. you can... It's not like you can have a bunch of penguins and then all of a sudden it's magically the right temperature for everybody. Mm -hmm. So fires for warm and penguins for cool. Wow, they gain XP really slow. Yeah. The lower level guys, I found gain XP a little bit slower. All right, guys. There you go. The new addition to the team. Check out the horns on these guys. Really, really cool. Only level 31. Got a couple levels into it, but nothing really like super impressive. Although the damage is not too bad once you get going a little bit. Let me get the metal off this guy and put it over in our forge over here. Go like this. Like that. And they gather metal and stone and that kind of stuff really fast. So that'll help out a lot. Let's put that in there. We'll pretty much never need metal again. And wood. Light fire. There we go. So it takes 400... No, I'm sorry. One coal and two iron and one wood to make a iron ingot. Okay. And then for silver, we need carotenoid, silver, and gem. For iridium, we need crystal, flint, and iridium. Okay. So there's a lot of different metals we're going to have to get into. We're going to have to kind of figure some of that stuff out. Very cool. So there's that. We got our super new amazing rhino that I help out a lot. And then I think right now we're about to start another episode. So I'm going to record back to back today. We're going to go ahead and go on a winter adventure in the brand new Brigantine. So we're going to take the Brigantine out, see if we can have a little bit of adventure to the north in it. And I think, I don't know which one we're going to, but hold on. Let's, let's zoom way out. All right, guys, there you go. Not too bad. We got our new rhino, which will help out a little bit for the metal and stuff like that. I'll try to go for a bear in the next episode. I was hoping to find one today, but the rhino was the first thing we ran into. We definitely wanted a new rhino. We're going to take it over to the desert to do some breeding at some point. Our friend Pyro is over there making a base place, so that'll help out a lot to do breeding in the desert area because ostriches and rhinos apparently have to go over there, so we're learning that. But yeah, lots of metal going. That's going in the forge right there. We've got our new buddy. We named him Rocky for right now, unless we think of a better name, but a super amazing giant rhino. And then, like I said, we're going to go get ourselves a wolf or something in the north, and we're going to go on that brigantine right there. 
kind of see how that does in the water and hopefully that is a lot of fun thank you so much drew for jumping in and helping us out today that was a lot of fun and definitely check out her channel youtube.com slash true hunter see you guys in the next episode like comment subscribe thank you so much so much for the support Whoa, long-winded messing up the outro see you guys later